Okay, so I finished doing the uh, modifications to the sander to make the top and bottom roller and for the motor. So here is the top roller. Now um, this came from the adjustable arm of the sander and it had a piece of, um, it was like a Y shaped, had a piece of steel sticking out here. I've sawed that steel off, sanded it down, well filed it down actually, and um, cut uh, cut two slots in it. That helps me lift the roller in and out so that I can put the belt on quite easily. This had a um, bar running through it, 10 millimeter bar. It was a bit too short, so I cut off a bit of 10 millimeter threaded bar and used some thin nuts on there that I'm going to lock it down with. This was um, one of the inserts from the uh, fins that we cut. So I turned that down so that it had a little ridge on it. You see the ridge there? So that'll slot into the pipe, sitting at the top underneath the um, sphere that we've got. We can feed the belt in and then that will drop into the two slots that I've cut and that makes my top roller. Now originally this roller was a, a kind of a black material, I think uh, a carbon filled plastic. Uh, carbon's not very good for Van de Graaff generators, it won't really generate so I skimmed off the surface of that, it was all ridged uh, and I've wrapped it in um, PTFE tape. PTFE tape is Teflon. Uh, this one is gas fitters tape. It's a bit thicker than the plumber's tape and one of the good things about PTFE is it glues really really well with say, uh, uh, super glue. So you put a bit of super glue on, wrap it around to this double layer and then super glue the end and that's the top roller finished. So that's just ready to slot in its place and ready to have the belt and combs attached to it. The bottom roller was um, has been made slightly more complex and there's the bottom roller set up showing there. This is from the bottom carrier of the other side or the other side of the carrier of the sander and it had a rubber coated aluminium wheel. So obviously I've taken off the rubber coating and cleaned down the aluminium aluminium a bit so that, that will actually turn and the belt's going to go on there. From there to there will be our new arrangement with the belt in between them. The good thing about this is uh, I've maintained the drive. So uh, the drive, original drive belt had the motor sitting here with the drive belt running to, running to this pulley here and turning that pulley turned the gear wheel which turned the roller. We've maintained that as you can see. We've had to build a plastic support to keep the gear wheels in place. There's um, a bearing, there we go, I don't know why that escaped me for a moment. There's a bearing in there that's the original bearing, turns out it was 22 mil. So all I did was take a flat piece of plastic, drill through it with 22mm, put the bearing in place, slide the whole thing there and um, glue fixed it onto these two bars that you can see and those bars are going to be used to fix it to the bottom of the um, base unit of the main fan draft generator. Now this pulley originally had five small slots in it uh, for the original belt and I uh, don't know if you remember but the belt had actually melted so what I've done is um, cut a deeper U-groove in there because I want to put a longer belt onto the drive motor so that the uh, thing dr I can position the motor away from the pulley and we get a bit more uh, ease with it for working with it. And here is the motor. Uh, the only thing really we've done with this is to saw off the casing so that we can fix the casing to this base plate. The base plate has been slotted so that when we fix this to the base plate of the Van de Graaff, then we can put some um, M6 bolts in there with some large washers and the whole thing can slide backwards and forwards on the base plate and that's how we're going to tension the belt to the roller from the motor. Again the original motor came with the pulley attached with its five little bits in it and I've machined a U-groove to match the U-groove on the bottom roller so that we can put um, uh, an O-ring, really a large O-ring will be used to make the drive belt Obviously when I actually detached this handle from the motor body I've got a great big gap here so I've used car body filler and put in a um, seal plug here that you get from electricians. Um, in here it has two wires going to the main part of the motor. Uh, those two wires have a starter capacitor over them. I've clipped those off and um, crimped them onto this extra length of wire 
I'm obviously going to put the starter capacitor back on when this goes into the control circuits that we're going to fit. So the whole thing looks a bit like this. So our motor and they will line up like that. There we go. So that'll be our motor and our drive pulley. And then above that, at the height of the pipe, will be the new roller. So that's our new arrangement here that we've done by chopping up the sander to get it all together and the next bit to do is to put this onto the actual Van de Graaff itself. So there they are rested in place as you can see the aluminium roller is now directly underneath the pipe and there's the motor just rested roughly where it's going to be. There's a little bit of trimming to do with those parts so that they all um, slide in a bit nearer to each other. I'll trim those off and fix those in place next. Um, but it's only to give you an idea roughly of where everything should go and here's the top roller in position there we go giving you an idea of where that goes and now obviously the um, metal sphere has a slot over that so nothing can come beyond the extent of that white circle that you can see the next thing to do there really is construct the cones and um, to put those on and then put the sphere on but as I say, it just gives you an idea of, of where it should roughly be positioned. I'm going to fix it in position next and construct the columns.